hello everyone welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for all you do we really appreciate you god bless you yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one is a shocking one very very shocking you know the islamic cleric um sheikh ahmed gumi his name has been on the news lately for several reasons several reasons and um, from um asking uh president muhammad buhari to give amnesty to unrepented boko haram terrorists and to warning president muhammad buhari that uh, boko haram um they are planning on buying uh, uh, um, different sort of weapons to take over the country he's been doing a lot claiming that he's been meeting with them he's been negotiating with them and um, he knows their grievances and all of them. so this is islamic cleric um, sheikh gumi um he's been speaking seriously but the surprising thing is that um, for this guy to claim that um, he's been meeting with um, Boko Haram terrorists, it's so surprising that um, presidency, they are relaxed. Who they are looking for? This person, this um, um, Gumi, is someone of interest. Is someone of interest. But anyways, they are not looking that direction. Gumi has just made a shocking revelation right now. He has talked about those who taught Fulani headsmen how to kidnap. It's quite shocking. And... Uh, We'll find out um, because, you know, of late, they've been making lots of propagandas trying to exonerate um, Fulani headsmen from claiming that not all Fulani headsmen are kidnappers, from claiming that the um, majority of the Fulani headsmen that commit those criminal activities, that they are foreigners. You know, they've been coming up with all sorts. They think Nigerians um, don't know how to interpret uh, uh um, information we do very well we know how to interpret all of those informations that are put out there anyway guys we'll find out more details about what um the islamic cleric sheikh gumi has just revealed um right now regarding fulani headsmen but before we go on guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe and also um hit on the notification bell god bless you Renowned Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi has revealed that headsmen were not always criminals and kidnappers, but were forced into the act as a form of self-defense. The cleric added that headsmen learned kidnapping from the Niger Delta militants, particularly the movement of the emancipation of Niger Delta men. According to him, it was when headsmen became victims of cattle rustling that they learned some of their current acts to be able to defend themselves. He added that if the government could give amnesty to the Niger Delta militants, then it should be able to give amnesty to headsmen also. Gumi made the submission on Tuesday during an appearance at the AIT, noting that only about 10% of headsmen are criminals, and if the government gives amnesty to the remaining 90%, the criminals among them will be exposed. In his words, we didn't take a different route to trying to solve this problem, and that was why we're still here today. And when we say amnesty, we don't mean that anyone proved to be involved in murder should go free as such, Gumi said. The land kidnapping from Med, I do not see any difference. They were the first victims of rustling. Their cattle is their oil. What are we seeing now is more of an insurgency than banditry. I can say 10% of the headers are criminals, not 90%. In the end, they took up weapons to protect themselves from extinction. They themselves can take care of the little remnant of criminals among themselves because you don't want anybody to bring mayhem to them. It will be recalled that Gumi once blamed the government for the decision of the headsmen to take up arms, saying they felt neglected. The cleric blamed Nigerians for contributing to insecurity, adding that headsmen are only interested in their cows. Meanwhile, the spokesperson of the Nigerian Army, Brigadier General Mohamed Yerima, has denied the report that military is benefiting from terrorism. Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmad Gumi on Thursday alleged that military authorities are not interested in ending terrorism in the country because they are making billions of naira from it. Gumi, who has been having meetings with bandits in an attempt to negotiate with them, stated this while speaking on Arise TV. This is one of the things that um, some um, prominent uh, um, leaders and politicians as well cannot understand that um, Gumi is working about free, claiming uh, um, that he's having a series of meetings with terrorists, with bandits. And it was this same Gumi that stated that um, he has um, terrorists across the, uh, all over the nation. 
that um, he can once he calls them that they will come in and overturn overrun the country this is the same person and guys let's his report does not even add up it doesn't match right now Earlier on, um, a couple of days ago, he stated that uh, President Mohamed Buhari was the one that forced these um, headsmen into carrying weapons and into criminal activities um, because they felt uh, um, neglected. And also, he gave different um, excuses for them. Right now, he's claiming that um, it's Niger Delta militants that taught headsmen how to carry weapons. We don't know the direction that this Gumi is going, what is really, um, what are his mission, what is um, up to, because... Um, He's been coming up with a lot right now. Look at what he's just uh, um, brought out. And Nigerians have reacted to this, you know. Um, like these days, Nigerians don't keep quiet anymore. With all of this, his report and his um, statement that don't add up, Nigerians are asking him right now, Mr. Gumi, do you listen to yourself? The headsmen learned kidnapping from Niger Delta militants and used it for self-defense. When goats mingle too much with dogs, they start eating feces. Your recent interaction with terrorists and bandits has so much altered your mind that you are now thinking like them. I wouldn't be surprised if you start acting like them in the nearest future. So um, <laughs> this person, his opinion, it feels like something is wrong somewhere that can Gumi actually listen to himself. He's claiming that headsmen learned uh, kidnapping. They learned it from Niger Delta militants and um, also for, uh, for self-defense as, as well. It doesn't add up. That um, maybe because he's been meeting with them too much, and that is what I keep saying that this Gumi is 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 not anyone speculating or anyone making any rumor or propaganda. He says it himself that he meets with the bandits, is negotiating with them. What what is the federal government waiting for again? What else do they want? And Gumi goes about um different um programs, different television um shows, and um he speaks openly about all of this that he actually meets with terrorists. And our, our government is doing nothing about it. Someone else says, um, you lack what it takes to meditate. You are worsening the tension in the country. How can you compare people that are fighting a just cause with notorious Fulanese who are aimless in their crimes? So um, this person feels that the comparison, what Gumi is stating here, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up at all. Another person says that Gumi is not in any way better than any of these kidnappers. He's just an opportunist and he's using the opportunity of being able to read and write to be the mouthpiece of criminals. He himself is a criminal disguising as a cleric. Gumi should remember the cause of the Niger Delta problem. He should remember that the bulk of Nigeria revenue, I think this person is trying to say that uh, um, um, Gumi his, his movement with these terrorists tells something different. He speaks a volume that he's likely the mouthpiece of these terrorists. Gumi is claiming right now that um, Fulani headsmen learned kidnapping from Niger Delta militants. Guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.